Here we are at the Czech conference in Mainz. I'm Hartmut, and with me is Robert Scholt, if not Yes. Welcome to Czech, Robert. Thank you. Thank you. You are lead, leading the Apache Maven project. Yes. And you are also part of the expert group of the Chixo model system. Yes, huh? that's right. Java 9. So you just had a talk here, a panel about JDK 9, JDK mm -hmm. 9 in practice. In practice, yes. Yeah. So the first question would be, how does Maven work together with JDK 9 right now in practice? Ah, in practice. So one of the first questions I always get is, uh, does Maven run on Java 9? Well, the, uh, that's an easy uh, question because the answer is yes. Uh, <laughs> Maven 3.0 already runs very well on Java 9. So we uh, don't use any uh, tricky codes inside Maven. It, it all works fine. So um, the next thing is how to compile uh, Java 9 stuff. And uh, well, we have the Maven compiler plugin. Uh, the 3.6 range uh, is capable to compile uh, Java code with the module info. Mm -hmm. So. That's one of the major things. Uh, also, um, I talked about Project Verona, uh, which also broke several plugins. Mm -hmm. uh, Project Verona is about uh, the version scheme. So uh, if you want to uh, know the version of Java, you could uh, get the value 1.6, 1.7. And now they changed it to simply 9. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we did is uh, we uh, read the string and uh, picked up the second part after the dot. And now there's no dot anymore in the string, so we get an array index out of bound exception. Mm -hmm. Painful, but uh, it's an easy fix. And uh, most plugins who were depending on this uh, Java version scheme have been updated. So it's almost uh, just upgrade your plugins you may have plugins and you should be good to go. Mm. So as I mentioned, you're also part of this expert group yes. and you're part of the discussions about Jigsaw. Yes. And we all know that uh, there was a, a vote for, of the JCP executive committee yes. who was against the current draft specification yes. of Jigsaw. Um, what do you think about it? Is it a good decision to wait <coughs> another 30 days now? Um, one of the things you read uh, in, the, the, in the comments is that there's not enough consensus within the expert group, and uh, mm. I agree on that. Mm. So, uh, based on uh, that comment, I think uh, it, it is right now the right decision to uh, give us uh, 30 days to try and uh, get more consensus within the team. Mm. So, one of the issues was uh, also raised by, by you and the Maven team. Um, has to do with automatic modules, yes. right? Well, what's the issue here, there? Okay, so the whole issue is that um, if you uh, use a dependency, mm. you refer to it with a group ID and an artifact ID. Mm. Um, with uh, the original concept of auto modules, um, uh, you would only refer to the file name, which is almost the same as the artifact ID quite often. Mm. Um, that's not unique enough. Uh, we did a scan in Maver Central and uh, we figured out there are a lot of collisions possible. So you could uh, normally put them all together on a class path with the same artifact ID, mm. but that won't work anymore if they are all auto modules. Mm. Um, so for that reason we were uh, looking for a, a solution how to solve that. Mm. And um, uh, I think we, get, we now have a, a, a good solution for it. So, uh, for um, library builders, so especially library builders, um, if they uh, uh, cannot write a module descriptor yet because uh, they have uh, dependencies which aren't modules yet, they can already specify the name of the module they think that that jar will have. Mm -hmm. And that's simply by adding the automatic module uh, name attribute to the manifest file. And that's the way you can specify, well, for your users, use this name in your module descriptor instead okay. of the file, just simply the file name. Mm -hmm. and that is also part of the, the revised uh, proposal for yes. which came from Mark Reinhardt too? Right? Yes, yes, uh, uh, yes. Is that for you the, the way to go now, just to, to have these 30 days to, to refine uh, some issues identified by 
Maven was Chai Guys, Red yes, Hat, yes. and then to have the release. Well, I think uh, Remy is right when he said, well, uh, uh, you cannot simply remove uh, Jigsaw anymore from Java 9. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, but I still think it, it would be good to get more consensus. And there are some critical issues uh, raised by both Red Hat and uh, IBM. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have no idea yet uh, uh, what will happen with uh, those uh, mm -hmm. things. Yeah. Okay, let's talk a little bit more about Maven. Yes. Mm -hmm. What's the future of, uh, of, of, of the, the tool? I mean, you mentioned yes. uh, the version number five. Possibly. Yes, I mentioned number five. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have plans to um, uh, first, uh, let's start with Maven 3.5. Mm -hmm. It was, I think, one and a half year ago that we did our latest release, the 3.3.9. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were working on the 3.0, uh, 3.4, and uh, somehow it was uh, uh, a bundle of too much features, mm -hmm. and uh, there were still a lot of discussions. But some of those features were already good enough to uh, do a new release. Mm -hmm. So uh, we made this uh, decision to just uh, uh, reset our uh, Git repository and start with the 3.5.0. So that's the release we did, and now we are collecting some uh, bugs from uh, the users, and it's looking very good. I, th I think we've only got one or two bugs reported as uh, regression. Mm -hmm. So that's a good sign, uh, and uh, we will work on that and also include some uh, other features which were planned for uh, th uh, 3.4. Can you can mention uh, uh, an example of a new feature? Which is um, especially interesting. So um, uh, we uh, discovered uh, that uh, some uh, dependency uh, features are uh, not optimal. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for instance, we discovered that uh, the optional flag can get lost in a transitive uh, tree of dependencies. Mm -hmm. Well, that's tricky. So mm -hmm. that's that's reported. You probably won't hit it that often, but. Uh, the ones do really have uh, problems with that. So uh, that's one that's already marked as being added to um, uh, 3.5.1. Um, also, we want to, um, as everybody w will have noticed, is uh, Maven suddenly has colors. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the, in the on console, um, but uh, we noticed that uh, some escaping is done wrong by our library, S and there are some uh, some other. Uh, uh, Ming W is not working correctly, so those are all kind of small uh, color-related issues we are going to solve as well. Mm -hmm. And then the big visionary uh, yes. release, yes. Java uh, Maven 5, Maven 5 possibly yes. a new POM file structure. Yes, so what we are uh, planning to do is, uh, right now, the POM file as this is always uh, uh, pushed towards Maven Central. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, we're going to split that because uh, the POM file contains both uh, build instructions and dependency information. And uh, the build information is not anymore of any interest interest when it's pushed to uh, Maven Central. So we're thinking about uh, two kinds of uh, files. There's one with all the uh, dependencies and build instructions and a new one which will be optimized for uh, other tools which contains all the dependency information and only that. Mm. That will speed up uh, a lot of things because the file will be smaller. Uh, we will also check if uh, uh, we can uh, add a completely resolved uh, tree of dependencies inside of it because right now you depend on the tool if they know how uh, uh, dependency resolution works. Mm. And re that's very hard. The, the, the developers on Jigsaw can uh, admit that. <laughs> they faced uh, a lot of issues with it. Mm -hmm. so, so that's one of the major things we are working on for uh, Maven 5. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you very much yes. for this insights. Thank you. Have fun here at Jax. I will, I will uh, walk around here and uh, have fun. <laughs> thank you for you, for watching Jax TV.